Hey everybody, welcome back and welcome to lesson one of what is going to be our rigging portion of this tutorial. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and uh, rig our character here. And the first thing that we need to do, and the first thing that I want to make sure that we all do, is we can just simply open up our outliner. Um, I'm just using my own personal outliner, which isn't really uh, much different from the Maya outliner. And to open that, you just come up here to Window, Outliner. I want to make sure that I rename this group. So this is going to be the clown uh, clownfish module. Okay, and I'm renaming this the clownfish module because this way, when we go to import other um, fish rigs into our our master rig, it's going to be easier for me to understand exactly what this is. And we should probably even actually rename this a little bit more in terms of the Clownfish Geo module. Okay, so I know exactly what this is. And it's real specific. So with it selected, we'll go ahead here and uh, freeze the transformations. And we can just come up here to freeze transformations, uh, edit, delete by type history. And uh, I do believe it's modify center pivot here. And I have just all those... Uh, basically thrown into one uh, shelf button here so I can just click it and it's you know gonna run all three of those at one time and I'll show you what I mean it's simply running the center pivot delete history and freeze transformation commands all in one so that's you know a fairly simple script go ahead and just close this down okay and I'll go ahead and add this to a layer so we'll call this the clownfish underscore module Okay, and we'll go ahead and reference that. Now you'll notice that I'm not doing any texturing um, at this point yet. And that's because I'm going to cover that um, a little bit later on down the road whenever it comes time to, to go ahead and actually rig our textures. And what I mean by rigging our textures is we're not just going to have one body color here. We're actually going to have a multitude of body colors um, as well as multitude of eye different shaders so that I can switch in between one color and another color and another color and another color and that way we can have multiple different fish um, with different textures inside our scene. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead here and uh, place our joints which is the uh, the main important thing here. So we'll just come in here to animation we'll go ahead and grab our joint tool jump into our side window here and we're just going to go ahead and draw out some joints and this isn't really going to be um, that difficult to do. I'm just trying to make sure that I get the joint placements um, where I want them correctly. So maybe there, there, and then we'll draw one here for the end of the head. You'll notice that I'm not going to draw out any jaw joint either because we're going to be rigging the actual face um, with the face machine for Maya. And that's going to allow us to have um, a little bit of extra control uh, as well as the eye control, the jaw control for opening and closing the mouth. Um, we're not necessarily going to need a full uh, rig to animate you know, major expressions here because this is a fish and he's not really going to be talking. This is basically meant to be a uh, background character. So we're not going to have to go ahead and um, really be animating the face. Let's go ahead here and draw out the joints for our bottom fins here and I am going to rename uh, just these bottom fins and the side fins I'm not renaming the body joints as you can see there okay so we'll go ahead and place this I'm just going to simply rename this the uh, JT under uh, space L because Maya will go ahead and actually put those underscores in for me uh, we'll call this the bottom fin one and I'll just hit down and we'll just use the same naming convention there JT L bottom end okay let's go ahead here and place the joint for our side fin here so go ahead and place that hit enter and we just need to go ahead and move this over and probably down a little bit there that's okay go ahead and just move this over here and we'll go ahead and do our naming convention for this so we'll call this the JT left Fin main one. Okay, and we'll call this the JT left side 
then end, and I'll actually go back here and rename this decide then one, and the other one is the end. So now what I want to go ahead and do is mirror these joints over, and I also want to connect a tail joint here to what is going to be the body. So we'll just simply go ahead and select the uh, tail joint, go ahead and select the body joint, hit P on our keyboard so that that'll parent it, and it'll create our root joint for us, Okay, which is good. Go ahead and F hit F2 on your keyboard, and we'll come up here and select our joint skeleton, and we're going to go ahead and mirror the joint. Let's take a look at the option box here. I'm going to mirror it in the YZ axis, but I'm also going to replace some duplicated name joints here. So when we mirror this, it's going to replace the uh, L underscore with R underscore. And if you wanted to, you can get a little bit more uh, tricky there and actually put an underscore on both sides. This way it's going to go ahead and rename that perfectly. So we'll go ahead and hit apply. And you can see where it's going to rename that um, L to an R. And I just want to double check to make sure that that second end joint there is the same. And you can see that that R has been replaced. We'll do the same thing here for the bottom joint. And I'm making sure that that behavior is the same as well because we don't want the orientation because if I do it with the orientation, whenever I rotate it in one on this side, if I was doing this in a pause, or I'm sorry, a negative direction on this side, it's going to be in a positive direction on the other side, and I don't want that. I want them to both be doing the same um, or in the same orientation. So if we go back here and let me select the joint here, you're going to see where they both come forward and both go back at the same way. Okay. So now let's go ahead here and, here and parent these joints to the to the rig too. We'll select those two side joints. We'll go ahead and parent that to what would be our um, our neck. Uh, well, I'm guessing he's a neck. That would be his neck, even though he's he's a fish and fish. I guess don't really have necks. Sometimes you just got to make stuff up. You know what I mean? Um, we'll go ahead and parent these two bottom fins to the same joint that uh, our side fins are parented to. And I'm doing it like that because I want to make sure that I have uh, independent head control. And I don't want to be rotating any of these joints um, when I rotate the head. Okay. So with our joint system here actually now placed in our scene, what I want to do here is take this, hit Control G to group it, and we're going to call this our joint main GRP. So I know exactly what this is, and it's going to cover the entire joint system. And that's going to come in handy later on, especially whenever we go to... Uh, start parenting our rig and um, start creating our controls okay and now what I want to go ahead and do is skin this to the mesh okay so I'm going to select my root joint which is going to be this joint 4 and like I said you'll notice that I didn't really uh, rename any of the joints on the body and that's fine go ahead and select our mesh oops and before I do that I actually want to make two more joints here and we're going to make a joint for the eyes so let's come in here and select our joint tool. And I apologize for that. Almost forgot to do that. So we'll just create one joint here. And I'm just going to hold down V on my keyboard and snap it to where the, the pupil is. And I'm going to call this the JTLI. And I'll go ahead and mirror this over. Okay. Go ahead and select these two. And I will then go ahead and parent that to the head rotation joint. Okay, And I'm only doing that because um, later on down the road I'm going to be uh, using those eye joints for a specific reason. So um, now we're ready to go ahead here and skin this. So we'll select our root joint, select our body mesh, come up here to skin, bind, skin, smooth bind. Join hierarchy. I'm going to let you guys take a look at these settings. Uh, usually people will use a max influence of four. Um, I'm using six because I want it to be a little bit softer and smoother uh, for the skinning. The drop off rate I think and do believe that this is the default at four. So let's go ahead here and hit apply. So our mesh has now been skinned and we just need to take a look at this. So we're, we're obviously going to have to paint this a little bit. Um, 
no matter what, you're you're always going to have to paint weights. Um, it's never going to come out perfect, especially on the initial skin, uh, which is why we do have a, a weight painting tool inside of Maya. Okay, and really, that's you know no problem. Um, straight away though, this is not really uh, that bad. This actually look looks pretty good, except for you know maybe the side fins here, um, maybe the bottom fins, uh, a little bit on the tail. Okay. So we'll call it an end of this lesson. Um, in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and come back. And we will go ahead and actually paint our weights for this character. So um, come on back, everybody.